personality of the, of the man or the woman. That's what makes an actor great, just the sheer personality. Uh, David Lynch, I said, uh, is it okay for me to have fun while I'm doing this? And he said, it, Nix, he called me Nixter. Nixter, it's not only okay for you to have fun, it's necessary that you have fun. Because if you're not having fun, then the audience isn't going to have fun. So that, that helped. Uh, Marty uh, was someone that was so, you know, enthusiastic about movies, and he would give me movies every day to watch, and I'd watch videotapes like uh, The Red Shoes, because uh, 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 I like Anton Walbrook in that movie, and uh, or he would give me Roger Corman's Mask of the Red Death to watch, and he, you just, it was infectious, his, his love of film, it's so real, it's so true that you can't help but love it with him and uh, but I've had I've had mostly great experiences uh, Mike Figgis was a great experience on Leaving Las Vegas Werner was a great experience on uh, Bad Lieutenant and uh, last night's movie John Wu I mean John was somebody you know we we communicated through expression not so much through words uh, he showed me his movie Bullet in the Head and I knew right away where I could go in terms of the size of performance because that was really operatic, that very emotional and very on the edge of is it too much or not and I liked that. And so I knew right away where he wanted me to go in terms of my performance. And he was always like, because you know, he's a dancer, well, keep your back straight. And watching the movie last night, I could see, oh, thank God I kept my shoulders back when I'm shooting the guns. It looked better. I, was like, I tend to sometimes slouch. He didn't like that. So I got great notes from all these filmmakers. Andrew Nichol on Lord of War. He was someone that was very politically concerned and immersed. So that was a very political kind of experience in terms of filmmaking. But um, I got something from all of them. And I know you directed the film himself, and it's funny that you also played like two of your most impressive roles in *Living Las Vegas* and *Adaptation*. Was yeah. playing a scriptwriter, yet you haven't, yeah. to my knowledge, have, have you ever uh, written a script for a film? No, I did once. <laughs> it was a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had, I had the computer. And I had the manuscript in my computer, and I, it was a movie about, I had been influenced by a, a movie called Quadrophenia, based on the Who album. And I, I was telling the story of my, my experiences as a teenager, and I wrote the script out, I had it all on my computer, it was all done. And I thought it was so cool because I had bought a Ferrari and I, I thought, wow, I've got my Ferrari now and I've got my script and my script was in my, my bag, my, my briefcase. And I, and I, got, I went to my Ferrari and I put my, my, my bag down behind the car and I, I was so excited by the car and how beautiful it was. And I got in and I started and I backed up and I ran over my briefcase and I smashed my computer. And I lost my manuscript and everything I had written for like one year. And I didn't have any copies of it and I just said, I didn't exist. It didn't exist. It didn't exist and I said, I'm never going to write another script again. This is fate. Just gonna stick with filming and not doing it ever again. Yet again That's the last time I ever drove a Ferrari, too. <laughs> Yet again, you directed the film. Uh, you are doing directing the job for uh, uh, Sony. Can yes. you talk a little bit about your experience? Yeah, as, uh, that was a terrific. As if you were the roles. It was, uh, it was reinvigorating. I was working with a great cast. I was working with uh, James Franco as Sonny, and he had, I'd seen him in a movie, a biopic about James Dean. I was extremely knocked out, so he was my star. And then Mina Subari, who I'd seen in American Beauty, and I thought she was terrific, and I think I got a beautiful performance out of her. I cast Brenda Blethyn. Uh, I'd seen her in... Uh, in a, in a few of her movies, and I always thought she was one of the great actresses, and Harry Dean Stanton, and so, and Brenda Vaccaro, so I had people that I was really uh, a fan of, and, and for direction, what I noticed is, you know, when I'm responsible for my own character as, a, as an actor, I have to think of the through line out of that performance, but as a director, you have to think everybody's through line out. So I didn't have the pressure of the camera being on me, which was a relief, because that is pressure. 
But I did have the pressure of knowing exactly where James' trajectory was and knowing where Brenda's trajectory was and where Mina's trajectory was and where Harry Dean's trajectory was and I had to answer all their questions. And I would go around every morning and we'd talk about it and then we'd start filming. And what, you know, what that did, because they were all brilliant, was it just re-inspired me to want to make make more characters and to act again and to get back in front of the camera because I was going through a little bit of a phase where I didn't want to do it anymore and through direction it brought me back to wanting to do it so I, I really I really enjoyed that experience and I was very inspired by it. I 